And very, very quickly, so if you allow me, a uh, one uh, Moses Otieno Were Jamaso Moning Gigan Jogo and Police and Unig. Kuruchi Kuri to Moses Otieno Were from Ugenya Douglas Kalasinga Lugari George Morgan Ikolomani John Koth Alego Usonga Unego. Robert Ouko Diambo, Suna East, John Benjamin Imbi, Luanda, John Ochego Chieng, Ogunja, Austin Ouma Steve, Ogunja, Elio Tieno, Bondo, Harris Ochieng, Game, Fanuel Ochieng, Game, David Omondi, game. Moses Onyango, Kendubei, Karachuanyo. Stephen Okinyi Ochieng, Suna West. Brian Onyango, Luanda. William Amulele, Kisumu West. Eliam Michael Oduor, Ugenya. Richard Mutuku, Baringo Central. Jeremiah Mwengi, Mwengi South, Solomon Bobobat, Nyakach, Rogers Omondi, Rangwe, Homabay County, Jack Ogana Nyangwala, Bondo, Venesta Odiambo, Migori Uriri, Regan Otieno, Suna East Migori Frederick Omonyo Suna East Migori Edwin Owino Omondi Rarieda Siaya David Agan Game Sylvester Owino Game Walter Odoyo Awonda Kisumu Central David Ocheng Ouma Ragen, Nyando, Eric Omondi Abok, Kisumu Central, Frank Opio Odiambo, Seme, Bernard Ocheng Otana, Rongo, Peter Wanjala, Kitale, Benson Otieno Ouma, Suna East, I can go on and on and on. Some of these Kenyans have already been buried. A number of them, we are still compiling their records. We, ex we estimate that by the end of this exercise, we shall have lost not less than 60 Kenyans. And these are real Kenyans with real names, with real places of abode. And let me say this very, very briefly that what we are talking about here is a real situation of real deaths of real Kenyans in the hands of the Kenyan police without any shade of doubt and I want to say this that the Inspector General of Police Mr. Japheth Komi cannot, cannot, in broad daylight, tell Kenyans that he's going to use the implements, the equipment, the tools that Kenyans have bought through their taxes to harm Kenyans again. That it was never the intention of the drafters of our constitution Indeed, it was never the intention of, intention of Kenyans when they adopted the 2010 Constitution that the National Police Service would be transformed into a tool to not only oppress the citizens, but to kill them. Secondly, we want the whole world to know 
that we are putting together as very strong case. And we shall be demonstrating that these acts of aggression by the National Police Service agents and their collaborators were planned and that there was a clear chain of command and that they were targeted at specific groups especially the Luo ethnic group. We are going to demonstrate that. And more importantly, we want to caution the International Criminal Court that on the Kenyan situation, it is not just enough for the ICC prosecutor, Karim Khan, to recuse himself from the Kenyan situation. What we want is an assurance from the presidency of the ICC that the ICC is going to remain impartial. It's going to remain impartial on the matter of the Kenyan situation from the beginning to the end. Thank you, the Honorable Opio and I. We want to challenge the Inspector General Komi. Tell us which of those names read by Opio and I who was not killed by the police, who died of other causes and was hired to be included there. We challenge you to tell us which is that body that we hired to be paraded. You have charge of the investigations. Come and arrest us and charge us and tell us who we falsely paraded. And what we are saying here, it is not just us. It is not just our principles. Amnesty International has investigated and confirmed. The Independent Medical Legal Unit has confirmed. The Law Society of Kenya has confirmed. The Kenya Human Rights Commission has confirmed. This is Lagrange from Simple Generations.